Hello everyone. So today we'll be discussing about respiratory system, anatomy and physiology. Again, this video is completely made for candidates who so, are so preparing for their interviews. If you are a fresher, when they ask you to say about a system, so you can make it in a very simpler way. So I thought of making a video. This will be very, very simple for you to understand. So, make a note of it. Write a note and keep, okay? So, the respiratory system, you should start with the definition, is uh, responsible for the intake of oxygen and expulsion of carbon dioxide from the body. It consists of upper and lower respiratory tract along with the lungs and associated structures. First, you should start with the definition. Next, anatomy of the respiratory system. First, we will see upper respiratory tract. So, upper respiratory tract, we have nose and nasal cavity. Primary entrance for outside air, warms, moisten and filter air before it enters into the lungs. Second comes the pharynx, that is the throat, divided into three regions, nasopharynx, oropharynx and laryngopharynx. Nasopharynx, passage for air, oropharynx, passage for food and air. And then the third part is the larynx which is called as voice box. It contains vocal cord for sound and production, act as a passageway for air and prevents food from entering the trachea. Fourth part is the epiglottis, a flap like structure that covers the larynx during swallowing to prevent aspiration. Next, we can, in the upper respiratory tract is over. Now, we will enter into the lower respiratory tract. Lower respiratory tract, the first part is trachea, that is a windpipe. Connects the larynx to the bronchi. Here, it is lined with cilia to trap and expel the particles. Second part is bronchi and bronchioles. Right and left main bronchi branch off from the trachea, further divided into smaller bronchi and bronchioles. Next, third part is the alveoli. Fourth part is the lungs. Right lung has three lobes and left lung has two lobes. This is an important question. Protected by a double layered membrane called the pleura. Final part is the diaphragm. It is a main muscle involved in breathing, contracts and flattened during inhalation. Write and keep, okay, so that it will be easy for you to prepare. Next, pa, next pa thing is physiology of the respiration. Under physiology of respiratory system, we have inhalation, that is inspiration. Diaphragm contracts, ribcage expands, air is drawn into the lung. During the exhalation, that is expiration process, the diaphragm relaxes, ribcages contracts, air is expelled from the lung. Gas exchange process happens okay and the fourth comes the transport of gases oxygen is carried by hemoglobin in red blood cells carbon dioxide is transported as bicarbonate ions in the plasma finally regulation of breathing controlled by the medulla oblongata and pons in the brainstem responds to the changes in carbon dioxide and oxygen levels Next, we can see the common medical terms. Dyspnea means difficulty in breathing. Apnea is absence of breathing. Tachypnea, rapid breathing. Bradypnea, slow breathing. Hemeptosis, coughing up blood. Hypoxia, low oxygen in the tissue. Cyanosis, bluish discoloration of the skin due to lack of oxygen. Next, clinical conditions include asthma, which is the inflammation and narrowing of the airways. Second comes chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, group of lung disease that back airflow. Third comes pneumonia, infection causing inflammation of the alveoli. Fourth is bronchitis, inflammation of the bronchial tubes. Five is emphysema, destruction of alveoli leading to breathing difficulties. And diagnostic procedures are spirometry, measure, measures lung capacity and airflow, bronchoscopy, visual examination of the airways, third is chest x-ray, imaging to detect abnormalities, fourth is pulse oximetry, measures oxygen saturation in the blood. So that's all about this. Understanding the anatomy and physiology of the respiratory system is crucial for identifying the disease condition accurately and understanding 
medical reports so you can make use of these points and if you need any points you can add up in between and you can make a complete uh, notes of this so that you can practice it repeatedly at least practice two or three times so that you will be more confident enough to talk about the system okay practice each system in this way so that you can speak about the system very confidently thank you so much for your attention and thank you so much for watching and if you are looking for interview guidance training program please do register with us we do give a proper training pattern as well as placement support so thank you so much if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe take care bye bye